Hey guys, Monty here. Today I've commanded my human to take me back to the shelter that I worked extra hard on making, and I'm going to have him cook me up some fresh salmon over the fire. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Cash Monty out. Monty! Hi Monty! Where are we going? Oh, it's just beautiful outside. Right Monty? Perfect day for a hike. Huh? Hello there ladies and gentlemen. I am out with Mr. Uh, Beady Eyes McPoo Pants and uh, we're gonna spend the night out here in the woods today. It is a beautiful, gorgeous, awesome uh, early spring day. It's about 50 degrees right now and there's a bunch of wind. It's about 15 mile an hour north wind. So it's, it's pretty breezy, but it is a, pretty much the perfect time to go hiking like this. Uh, the snow's still two, two and a half feet, somewhere in there, but it's very packed. I am not even sinking a half inch using these snowshoes. If I wasn't using snowshoes, um, I'd probably still be okay. I mean, I'd, I'd definitely push through, but keeping the snowshoes on, I'm not sinking at all. We're currently going down a two track, which the snowmobile went down, and we're trying to return to uh, the bushcraft camp I made earlier this winter. I haven't been here since I did one overnighter before we got all the snow, but the main reason I haven't come back here is it's a pretty good hike. Um, I'm not sure exactly how far it is down this road, but as a crow flies, it's about four miles to four maybe more to get to my camp right in there but going down the road is much further but um i don't know if you've snowshoed through deep powdery snow you know like three feet of snow with a sled it's a lot of work so i just haven't made it out here yet again this season so we're gonna go see what we find i'm not quite sure maybe she's still standing maybe she's not well, who knows? I prepared for, you know, maybe we'll sleep under the stars. It's supposed to be clear tonight, but hopefully the shelter's still standing and we can just use the shelter that's there, you know, collect some firewood and have a nice relaxing evening in this just beautiful weather. You know, you can see I'm not wearing any sort of uh, clothing right now. No thermals, just pants and a t-shirt and I am still sweating. It's that warm. So we're gonna cook up a delicious meal that I've got planned out for tonight and have some good times. So let's get to it. Come on, Monty, let's go. You know, it kind of goes without saying that the reason I have to hike down this road and I couldn't drive down it is the snow. It's too deep. I had to just pull off the road and kind of just drive up on a snowbank. So we'll see if I can get my car out even. And you know, it also kind of goes without saying that I uh, got a little bit of a late start today. <laughs> you know, per usual. So we're hustling right now. I don't know how fast I'm going. One day I'll get a GPS to track how fast I'm going. But I have not stopped other than a few times to, uh, you know, set up the camera. No water yet. We're trying to hustle because we've only got about three hours of daylight. So I want to have at least an hour or two of, uh, you know, relaxing in the light. So we'll see. We're moving quick. We're hiking. No breaks, no stops. So 
Sometimes I just get the most random song stuck in my head. And right now is one of those times. Got some Whitney Houston stuck in my head. And I, I will always love you. Yes, you, Monty. Monty, what do you think of my beautiful singing? Does it serenade you? Or would you rather just hear the sound of the uh, breeze in the trees? I agree, breeze and trees. We'll stick to it. If there's one piece of advice I can give any of you out there watching, don't pass up some nice tinder when it slaps you in the face. That's some nice birch bark right there. Oh, there's another piece right there. I'm gonna put that in the pocket, save it for later. Oh, would you just look at that maple? Oh yeah, that's some nice firewood right there. I'd like to chop her down, burn her up, what do you think, Monty? Huh? Huh? Okay, Mr. Monty. We made it to where I normally park the car. So we're gonna take a little breather here. We've got to go uh, another mile and a half to two miles, somewhere in there. I, I'm not really good at guesstimating, as you'll, you'll know. <laughs> I'm really terrible at it. I just go off of usually how long it takes me. So I think another hour, maybe less, I don't know, but we're, we cruised down that road. It took me less time than I thought. So we'll, I don't know, when I started, we had like five hours till daylight at, you know, we'll get there, but take a little breather, but it is definitely a lot faster going or with, since that snowmobile went down that road and yeah, just this packiness, it's awesome. So, Let's keep going. Okay, moment of truth. It's somewhere right up here. Somewhere, where is it? It, it? it looks so different right now. The woods, there's so many fallen trees and stuff. It's gotta be more this way. Oh, I think I see it. Oh, is it still standing? I got that like nervous, excited. Ooh. Oh, is this thick? Oh, I love these trees. These fresh budding little maples. Oh, there's a sting in my chest. Whoa, 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 jeez. Oh, 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 I got a little, oh, got snow in my butt crack. Oh, oh. Monty, you okay? Okay. Brush off the snow in my butt crack. Coming at a little different angle. I don't remember the exact path, but. Oh, there goes this tattoo. Oh, we're never gonna make it, Monty. It's still two feet deep. Um, my voice cracked. It's definitely, I haven't been out here with this much snow, but. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, check that out. Oh yeah. It's still standing. Nice job. Nice job, Monty. You made a nice shelter that withstand the three, four feet of snow we got. Most of it's melted off the top. But as you can see, there's my fire reflector. Um, so, that means we've got to unbury this thing. First thing I'm going to have to do is uh, clear that out if we want to use this, you know, um, fire reflector in the fire pit. I'm definitely going to I brought my shovel just in case I, you know, I didn't know what we were gonna be sleeping with dealing with, but like I said, those tree branches that broke off right there, they're everywhere. I mean, it is just, there was definitely some wind going through this forest, knocked a bunch of stuff down. I was pretty sure this was gonna have a 50-50 chance of, you know, being up, but there it is, still going strong. Awesome. Now we can just set up in there. Yeah, Monty, that's your den. Go ahead. But I've got some snow to clear. At least I just got to clear snow. That's good. That's good. So 
we're gonna take off my stuff and get shoveling. That's what we gotta do. Okay. Man, it is definitely a nice cozy den in there. I almost, I'd almost like to keep the snow here, but then we won't have a place for a fire. It's just so cozy. There's one more hurdle we've got to do before we sleep under this thing. And that is to give it a tap. The old tap of approval. You know, see if our uh, ridge pole and everything is still solid because it has been melty. I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be way more solid because it is kind of icy right now and a little bit frozen. But before I, hey, you want a stick? <laughs> before I lay under there and sleep tonight, especially with this little wind since I know the trees will probably shift a little bit, I want to make sure it's nice and solid. You get that stick, Monty. You get that stick. So, as far as this shirt goes, I'm definitely going to be changing out of this in a little bit here when I'm done shoveling because uh, this thing's a little wet with sweat. But I brought plenty of dry clothes, so it's no big deal. I knew I was going to get sweaty on the hike in. We made great time. We did that in what? Let's see, two and a half hours, and we were going. I didn't stop. Maybe the one break when we got to the place uh, when we got off the two track. And we've been going solid for like two and a half hours. I'm thinking Monty's going crazy, but I think we did maybe six miles. I don't know. I can't tell. I'm really bad at guessing, but two and a half hours roughly of hiking. And I, we were not going slow. We did not stop. And we've got hour and a half, hour 45 till the sun sets. I just wanted to get back out here. I'm glad it's standing. This is great. This is great, better than expected. I was kind of expecting it to be, you know, you know, it's hard to say, hard to say. But we're here, Monty, right? Monty, I'll get you a stick, so let me shovel some snow, okay? Let me just get the rest of the work out of the way, then we'll get some firewood, get a fire going. You know the drill. Oh yeah, this is the first time I've also brought a sled in here. There's so much crap, it was such a nightmare <laughs> getting around all the down trees and everything. That's why I normally didn't bring a sled here, just because it's so, there's so much, it's so thick. Okay. Well, let's just see how this goes. Plus, packy snow. Ooh, that's icy. Okay. Ooh. It's looking like it's definitely a little, it's definitely a little icy and wet underneath here. But I did bring a ground sheet for it just in case. I knew that was going to be the case because, you know, uh, everything but under here is you know a low spot with the with all the melt going on. So I knew it would be wet and frosty under there. A little icy. Monty, don't you worry. We'll get you a spot, Mr. Flufflebutt. Actually, you know what I should do? Let's see. I'm scared. Solid. Oh! Monty, I'm just testing the integrity of the old bushcraft shelter. Don't worry. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Hey. Hey. No. Why does it go? It's good, Monty. It's good. One more. Oh, no. What? Yeah. Okay, 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 no, stop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, don't choke yourself. Monty doesn't like things out of the ordinary. You know, it's, it's breezy, I don't know if you can hear the wind. Yeah, it's breezy out, but it's got blue, blue cloudy skies, blue skies, blue skies. But uh, yeah, it's breezy, so this will be nice. We're gonna be so protected in here, we've got walls, and then we're gonna have these walls. I might need to make a funnel for the smoke. I don't know if having walls all around is gonna make it swirl inside the shelter. We'll see. Worst case scenario, I got the shovel. 
I'll dig out a spot, a little trail. Okay, so, as you can see, there's a bunch of snow on there. And since, ooh, wow, since it is 50 degrees and melty, we've got the nice spot cleared out here. It's a good, you know, two feet of snow-ish. Somewhere in there, right, Monty? Anyways, if you look in here, you'll notice a lot of dripping. And that's because there's all that snow on top. Let's see if we can get up here but yeah it's kind of a wet sloppy mess under here and that would just be because all that snow on top is melting but what is happening or what's going to happen is that you know this is solid um what i'm going to have to do is try to knock off some of that snow but it is not going to stop the dripping by any means because there's these logs are kind of soaked a little bit you know so I am going to, um, yeah, chip off that ice and snow on the top. I've got plenty of time. And uh, then I'm gonna lay a tarp, probably on the underside of this and just kinda tie it up tight around the uh, edges here. Stuff it as best I can, just, just so we can get some of this, you know, the dripping off. I don't wanna get dripped on all night. You know, you can see, can you pick that up? It's a little too dark. I don't know if you can pick it all up, but there, there's lots of dripping, lots of dripping. So let's keep cleaning up. Spring cleanup out in the woods, eh? Okay. Let's get this off here. Yeah, this isn't going to help the dripping much because it's there's definitely a layer of ice under here, but at least take weight off of it just you know just to be a little safer. But there's definitely going to be a nice icy layer that's still going to melt the metal until we get a good few days when it does get sunny and hot. You know the sun right there will just it'll dry out this wood potentially save the shelter from being like the last one falling apart. Maybe next time all this will be gone. Okay, good enough. Good enough for now. Now we've got to hang a tarp on the inside here. Okay, so before we go any further with putting the tarp up or anything. I'm getting a slight nip to me because I'm not working as hard, you know, shoveling the snow. We're not hiking beast mode anymore. So I'm gonna put on um, probably single layer, single, wow, single layer of thermals top and bottom, put my waterproof uh, overalls on and my jacket and then put a hat on probably. Just cause it is starting to get a little colder, you know, we're. The sun's still up, but it's behind a cloud now. So it's gonna start cooling off here. So I'm just gonna get some layers on and then we'll get to the rest of it. And we also gotta give Monty a nice spot. He needs a spot. Right, Monty? Even though you're fine. We're gonna give you one anyways. Bye, guys. Yeah. All right, Mr. Monty. Feels better, hey? Yeah. Yeah, Monty. Yeah, I don't like to... I'll let myself get a little bit chilly, like just a chill, but if I start to get, you know, drastically chilly or anything like that, I'll put layers on. Pretty good at regulation, regulating my temperature. So, the funny thing is that even though it's like 50 degrees, it's probably more like 43 right now, maybe less, I don't know. But uh, doesn't matter if it's zero degrees, 
or 40 degrees I bring out the same amount of layers and everything just you know just in case how I'm feeling just in case I get chilly you know sometimes you can fight off the cold some days you'll get you'll get chilled out at 30 degrees but you're totally toasty at zero degrees I don't know what the, why that is but happens so always bring out the same stuff I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Monty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come here. You want to lay down? Come here. Come here, Monty. Come here, Monty. Come here. Good boy. Here you go. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. You always gotta beat your Monty up with a sleeping pad. Always gotta be done. Okay, where were we? Hang the tarp on the inside. Let's get to it. Okay, so instead of using my tarp, which is a 10 by 10 tarp, um, I'm just gonna use my ground sheet. Since, since it's pretty much frozen in here, um, I'm not too worried about anything, you know, poking. Uh, our sleeping pads are pretty tough, except for, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you'll notice that I got a new sleeping pad I'm trying out today because of uh, the last time I went camping. But yeah, like I was saying, he's, oh no. Yeah, learned that lesson. So uh, they're pretty tough, they're pretty rugged, other than, you know, they can't stick them. Can't stick them a foot away from a burning hot fire and expect them to not melt, but uh, anywho. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my ground sheet because it's about the perfect size to just hook up. This thing will be, I'll have to wrap it around and it's, I got my rat's nest in here. So I think we'll just try the ground sheet out for now instead of this thing. It's a little too big. Let's try this thing out, let's see what happens. Let us see what happens. Yeah, this thing's about the perfect size for this. It's like it was made for this. Okay. Under these posts. Oh, it's so perfect. <laughs> This is his purpose. Oh. Okay. But that side worked out perfect. I couldn't have planned that any better. Um, I just, uh, it's a little loosey, but, uh, yeah, I just tied a piece of paracord to wedge it through the logs and then I pulled on it and the loop on the end was enough, just the right amount of space to go and uh, put the loop over the stake that I used to hold up these walls. Let's see if we can get both sides like that and make a rat's nest in the in process. Nothing better than another rat's nest, you know? Okay, that one didn't work out quite as perfectly, but as you can see, we've got an overhang now. The, the tips of our feet, it's not gonna be perfect. There's like, you know, a foot back, but our feet only go to here anyways. Let me see, let's just see. Oh yeah, so just the tips of our feet, it might drip on the edge, but Monty doesn't sleep that far back and I generally don't anyways. So it'll be just fine. Woo! 
get this. The, the firewood I put, it's all frozen in the birch bark. I'm gonna need my ax to get that out. It's like an ice rink under here. Right, Monty? Yeah, you can see there's just right here is where it stops, but our feet will probably only go to here. So we get, you might get a little drips. He won't matter as much. And the water on the ground, honestly, it's not gonna matter because our stuffs, those, those sleeping pads are waterproof anyways. Just gotta get this. It's meant to keep it dry, but it just froze to the ground since it's spring. That is, that is frozen in there. I'm gonna have to take this off here. Okay. <laughs> this will burn still. It's just uh, gonna be a little wet and smoky for a bit. It'll still work. I don't want this to be sharp my sleeping pad and as we get the fire started and the heat reflects back in here if I didn't put this tarp up it'd get a lot more melty that birch bark's just gonna stay right there <laughs> yeah I'm not messing with that oh. all Monty needs is a nice walk in the woods and a sleeping pad and he is satisfied look at that guy out he is out it's beautiful out here oh it sure is beautiful sun's still up we've got a good let's see i'd say we got an hour hour and the sun will be set but we'll still get uh light for a while because it is kind of brighter out today but yeah you can just see branches like I was saying earlier, that's that part. You know, there's another part right there. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Yeah, that's a, the top of a tree. I can't even tell you how many of those I saw on the way in. It was a lot. There's another one behind it back there. So, you know, if I was, normally when I do this sort of thing, I only collect it from dead, broken down trees like that. So, I mean, if I wanted to, I've got a whole plethora of it right around here but I don't need to you know it's ice packed anyways so what we're gonna do now get some firewood okay firewood time <sighs> look at this thing that's a widow maker I always feel nervous standing under these even if it's just for a second Ugh. Ugh. this is exactly what I am looking for Could you? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, over here. There we go. Oh. All right. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do. There's these sort of branches like this are all over right now. I don't need to take down any dead standing. Nothing. I'm just gonna. I've seen. There's so much of this right now. So what I'm gonna do is go get a bunch of these and we're gonna have a nice ripping fire tonight and I'm gonna process things. Oh, there's a dead standing right there. I don't need to take that down though. Um, anyways, I'm gonna probably process it into a lot longer pieces today and we'll just burn things in half and just have a nice long fire tonight. Cause we're cooking up a good meal. We don't even, we don't even need this ax, Monty. Let's go back to camp. Okay, well, all it took was one trip of going to get some logs, and I'm way too warm again. Now I wish I didn't have my thermals on. Ah, it's warm, Monty. It's warm. Oh, you know what? You know what time it is? We both need some water. Now I'm gonna make a little prediction. 
even though we've hiked for, I don't know, a ways, and haven't drank any water either of us, he's eating some snow, I'm gonna pour him this water, and one of two things I'm predicting are gonna happen. He's gonna sniff it and walk away from it, or he'll take one lick and walk away from it. If he does more than that, I'll be surprised, it'll be a first. Here you go, Monty. I'll put it down here for you. That way, you don't walk on top of it. Ready? You want some water? Here you go. Alright, Monty, go ahead. Get your water. Go ahead. He sniffed it, and he walked away. He didn't even take a lick. It's like he's on strike from drinking the water I provide for him. Yeah, I try. That's why I put water in his food. Because he just eats a little bit of snow, he just won't drink it. He's just like, yeah, Dad, I don't need your water. All I need is your sleeping pad and your food. I'll get my own water. And we're also going to set up the watch not in the sun and see what the temperature is at I'm curious I'm gonna guess right now 45 40 to 45 44 to be exact is my guess it's in the sun we can't have that right here I know right here Let's go get more wood, Monty. Come on. Come on, bud. You know, there's not much out here that'll make me frustrated or upset or anything, but those young maples, their little budding branches, when they just whip you in the face, oh, I just, ugh. I just took one of the throat. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it picks it up. I just got whipped with one right there on the Adam's apple. <laughs> You know, I was just like, oh, I want to break you, tree. <laughs> oh, it'll get you. They'll get you. <laughs> Gotta watch out for them. You just, you know, carrying logs, and there's you, your hands aren't free to like wash them out of the way. They'll get you. The little creature has started eating my wood pile. I wonder what kind of creature eats wood like that, just for no reason at all. Just. See, so a nice pile of wood. And... Monty, do you want me to throw the stick? He's like, are you serious? Yeah. What do you think I'm signaling over here? Okay. We'll get you a stick soon. Hey, hey, Monty. I like the things you do. Hey, Monty. If I was a dog, I'd want to be you. You're the one and only doggy with the small, baby little eyes. And you got a long nose. It's not a surprise. Monty! Monty's butt is more than good. It's great. Hey, right, Monty. All right. Don't worry there, pal. You're gonna get a stick. I just gotta process up a little bit of this, get the work done. And then we'll, we'll, we'll have fun, okay? Well, we're having fun. I'm having fun. The whole time. Yeah, I'm going to do nice... Ooh. Oh, watch that sleeping pad. Yeah, I'm going to do nice long... How much room do I got? Yeah. We'll go like that long. Less sawing. And I'll just burn them in half. Still cutting logs. <laughs> Still cutting logs. Almost done cutting all the firewood. Sky is just beautiful. Sun's getting close to setting. 
too bad we can't see it here. Monty's just looking at me like I'm crazy sometimes. Monty, here we go. We got a nice pile of firewood there. A lot of dense maple, not punky stuff. Now, you know, sometimes I'll opt for, you know, cutting it down to uh, nice log sizes. And other times I just chop up logs like this. It all depends what the what's the mood I'm in. But this would take, you know, three, four times as long to cut all this into nice logs. But I'm just going to let the fire, since we're going to be burning a long fire tonight, um, just burn that all in half. So, since the sun is setting, I'm going to go collect up a little bunch of little sticks. And then we'll spark up a fire. And then I'm going to pack down a trail, a nice spot. And we'll throw a nice stick for Monty because he's he's been such a good boy. He's just relaxing over there, hasn't hasn't moved much. Whenever I'm starting up a fire, I always love having a nice little pile of twigs, a nice little pile of sticks, and a good old pile of logs for burning. Then you don't have to do much moving around. Got everything ready to go. That'll light easy. Those will keep the flame going. And those will build the coals. Mm, a little bit wet. That'll do the trick though. Got a little bit of birth bark from earlier. And once again, we're on the quest for a one strike fire with no warm up. No warm up whatsoever. It would help if I had a lot longer of a fire steel, but this is what I got. This is what I use. We're going to get it with this one. All right, here we go. Let's just get it. Oh, oh that one didn't even go. What? How dare you? Four? Was that four? Blasphemy. Putting these twigs on. You never want to just throw it and mush your fire. You always want it to breathe. I'll go right out. Even though sometimes I don't even listen to my own advice and I throw too much on there like just now. It's a little too much, but I'm going to keep piling sticks on there, you know. Still not taking my own advice. Not listening to myself. It's okay. It's okay. Well, maybe I should maybe I should slow down here. out of something this thing is not going under the shelter yet don't want no rogue embers no chances today we brought out a special little something aha I've learned my lesson it's a little Z rest pad we'll have Monty to use this Put his little wool blanket on there, this will do just fine. See? I learn. I learn from my mistakes. If he wants to lay down, he can lay his butt on this thing. I ain't no embers I'm gonna ruin this one. Might put a couple holes in it, but who cares? But do you wanna fetch a stick? You want a stick? Do you want a stick? Do you wanna go for a dog park? Do you want a stick? Okay. Good boy, come here. Hey, you watch out there. The monster, the monster.
Actually, you know what? That's a better way. Let's let's pack it down this way, Monty. Better pack. Do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want a stick? Do you want a stick? Do you want it? Oh, okay. Ah! okay, okay. Good boy. Okie dokie. Fire's burning down. Let's see what we've got for temps. Ooh, 38.8. Okay. Okay. 38.8. I mean, it's gotten darker, so it could have been around 45 when I was guessing. We're just going to say that I was 100% on the money. At least I'm going to tell myself that. <laughs> you know? All right, we're going to keep burning these logs. Now, bring me that stick, Monty. Yeah, I want a nice hot cola. Bring me that stick, Monty. Bring it here. Hey, bring it here. Oh. So let's see, the sun is officially set. It's starting to get dark. Where are we at? 8.30, 8.30. Last time I camped here, what was that? I just saw a critter. Could be a squirrel, I guess. Uh, I'm not gonna see anything. It's too dark. It was definitely, I, I definitely saw it move. It was definitely an animal. Nothing big and worrisome by any means, but I'm always interested in seeing what little critters are roaming around. All right, Monty, you bring me that stick right now, mister, or you are grounded. You are grounded to your sleeping pad. You bring it here. Hey, hey, hey. Bring me that stick. Bring me that stick. Bring me that stick. Come on, Monty, bring it here. If you ever want to ensure that no critters are gonna be coming around your camp, Tell Monty to bring you the stick, because you got to say it about a thousand times. Then you eventually got to trudge over there and get it anyways. He ain't listening. He just taunts me with it. It's like this is his sick, twisted pleasure. He just has me throw him the stick. He, he's like he knows I want to throw the stick for him. And he just taunts me with it, shaking his head. This is a sick game, mister. Oh. I gotta be careful retrieving the stick for Monty because when I break through, I would create like a two foot hole. And I don't want him running and like, you know, catching his legs in that. Get it, Monty. Yeah, it's getting dark. I'm gonna put the light on there. You probably can't see anything. Good oh boy. Get it, bring it. Give it to me. Arr, arr. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh! That was a bad throw. That was my bad. Monty, bring it here. I'm sorry. That was a poopy throw. It almost hit Monty. Ow! Ow! Little stinker. Oh, so yeah, it's it's spring right now. We still got two feet of snow. It's, uh, let's see, what day is today? Well, April starts in a couple days. So, I'm thinking the snow is gonna be here till, probably till, probably till almost May, to be honest. All right, we're really close to May, maybe even into May, who knows? And we might even get that spring snowstorm that likes to come around pretty much every year. But uh, it's not it's not getting above 50 and sunny. When it, it's when it gets to like 55, 60 and sunny is when it just melts. You know, if it stays 50 and it's like cloudy, partly sunny, it just slowly melts, which I guess is better as far as like flooding goes and that sort of thing. Because when it just melts all down, that's when it's, you get some crazy flooding. Even though no matter what, I think flooding is gonna happen this year with all the snowfall. Monty, bring me that stick, come on. Bring it here, Monty, come on. Maybe if I like... Monty, bring it here, come on, Monty. Oh, bring me this stick. 
Monty, bring me that stick. Come on. Come on, Monty. Bring it here. Monty, bring me that stick. He just doesn't care about my feelings. About the stick throwing. Monty, I have had it to hear with your stick taunting. You bring it here, good boy. Good boy, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, 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 frisky. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I just fooled me once. Ha ha. Ha ha. Okay, you ready? You ready? Good boy. Give me that stick. Give me that stick. Give me that stick. Hey. Hey. Oh, good boy. Ready? Be careful. Monty, I've been throwing the stick for like 45 minutes now. Is that enough? All right, we're gonna put this down for now, okay? 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 All right, please, please. Here, Monty, check this out. Come on, right here. Yeah, you like that? Probably not really, hey? It's not as cushy as the air pad, huh? Come on, this is all you need. Go ahead, lay down. Lay down on there. Yeah. Uh, he'll figure it out. I doubt he's gonna sit here anyways. It's too warm. Oh. So yeah, like I said, oh, fire reflector's catching. Gotta be careful. I'm gonna have to scoot the fire away a little bit. But yeah, I've been throwing the stick for Monty for a good 45 minutes there at least yeah just been relaxing blew up the sleeping pad um by what i'm wearing i'm sure you can tell the temperature um for those of you that are not used to colder temperatures or winter camping in general you may think i'm crazy when i say you know it's 30 degrees out it's very warm i've got pretty much you know one little uh merino wool layer on <laughs> And for those of you that camp in colder temperatures that I do, you might be like, you should have your shirt off. <laughs> but no, it's it's warm. Everything's relative, you know? It's warm right now. 30 degrees at night, that's warm. I mean, it might be above, it might be more than that actually right now. It's probably like 35. 35 Fahrenheit. Which, what is that? That's like 1 or 2 Celsius, something like that. It's warm right now. I can hear... I can hear the uh, water hitting this, so this is definitely reflecting some heat back. Oh yeah, it's dripping, it's dripping like crazy. Yeah, Monty's, it's too warm for him to want to sit near this fire. I'm probably not even going to be able to wear my jacket sitting this close to the fire. It's hot, that's a hot fire, we got a coal bed going now. I've chopped up a little, some little small pieces just because I was thinking, you know, if I'm sitting here and I don't want to keep the coals going, uh, I might want some smaller pieces, but that's a hot fire. It's going to melt all of this. This is all going to be slushy. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's sure springtime. I just hope it doesn't get melted. I hope this stays frozen at least on the ground. I don't want it to turn into a slush mud puddle. Because it's pretty icy. I think it'll stay frozen, which would be good, which is what I want. But you never know. We'll see. We'll be fine, though. I'll just have some dirty, dirty sleeping pads. So we're going to get cooking here pretty soon and start preparing dinner. And I bet you're wondering what we're having for dinner. We're, we're having a good one tonight. For those of you that follow me on Instagram and you saw my latest post, you'll have a good hint of t as to what dinner is and 
two of you have actually pretty much guessed it dead on. One of you guessed it dead on. And uh, I sent out a sticker, I'm gonna send out a sticker and patch combo um, to that person that guessed it exactly right, and the person that was very close. But what we are having tonight is a fresh caught, fire roasted coho salmon fettuccine alfredo. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. You know, I was as, I, I was out with my buddy Jake uh, a few nights ago, and uh, we were just he's he's leaving uh, he's leaving town to go work, and it was his last night out, and he just he wanted to go fishing on the break wall, and uh, in Lake Superior, and uh, yeah, I didn't expect to catch anything. You know, there was ice all over except for the one spot where we were fishing. And I was just going to, you know, shoot the shit with them, just talk, cast some lines. It's enjoyable, you know. I don't really expect to catch much this time of year. And a few casts in, I was just chatting away. <laughs> you know, I just casted out my line. I was chatting away. And uh, I just let my lure sink. And, um, yeah, this jumped on. Oh, yeah. First fish of the year. Woo! Yeah, so I caught, I brought that in, yanked it right up off the ice, and caught. And that's what we're eating tonight. It's about as fresh as it gets. And I knew right away what I was cooking. I'm not quite sure how fire roasting salmon is going to go. I kind, I wanted to sear it in a pan, but um, I like the flavor of fire roasted food better. So we're going to try putting the fillet on the great grate. With the skin down, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pull coals out, and we're gonna slowly roast it that way while cooking everything else. Might go perfectly and be super delicious. Might go bad, and I burn stuff and still be super delicious. But either way, we're gonna eat it. And it's gonna be good. Come here. At least humor me. Come here, right here, twirl, twirl. Come here, twirl. Lay down. Yeah, at least humor me. Okay. If he leaves from here, I'll, I'll accept it. Do as you please. I just wanted him to lay on it once and know that there's a comfy little cushy section here for him. But yeah, the reason I'm uh, not cooking yet, you know, it's already almost 10. Um, it's just because it's just an enjoyable evening. This is, you know, it's not like frigid cold or anything. The, the wind's supposed to be... Yeah, I don't hear wind blowing at all. It's supposed to be like 15 miles an hour and north winds are usually pretty strong. Nothing, calm right down. Clear skies, the stars are out. If this light wasn't blasting me in the face, I could definitely see the stars, but it is a very enjoyable evening. And the last time I was out camping was uh, when I built that cave. <laughs> and all, all the problems that go along with that, yeah. But uh, yeah, so I'm just taking my time. I'm, I'm, I'm hungry right now, but I'm just enjoying sitting around this fire, burning it down. It's nice to get a night out. Today is definitely going better than expected. I think our meal is gonna go better than expected because uh, that hike in, you know, I was kind of like, oh, it's gonna be some work, but when the when it's packed like that and the snowmobile went down, it was just we flew through that. It was just like walking because when you have a sled and it's packed down, you're dragging a sled. You got a little bit of drag, but your backpack is super light because everything's in your sled. It's like pulling nothing. It's just like walking. It was a little more more work once we got to off the uh, off the road and the snowmobile was packed. Is is we were sinking in like that much, which is still nothing. So it was just a little bit more. It took a little bit. He's squeaking. Yeah, just a little bit more work. And I'm not quite sure really how far we hike today. I'm I'm really bad at guessing. I don't know. When I'm hiking through the woods like this, when I pick my spots normally and I'm just going into the woods, um, I always use Google Maps to scope out areas first. And what I do is um, I'll see sections of swamp and you can look at the terrain on there and you can see ridges. And I like to, I, what I like to do the most is follow ridges and just get an idea in my head. So like, I'll follow a ridge, I'll see a swamp, I'll hug the edge of the swamp, go around, and you know, I've already been here like three, four times, so I pretty much know my way in to a T. Um, so that that's usually how I scope out my spots when I'm just hiking into the woods. I'm not just blindly going and following a compass. I usually scope it out first on Google Maps, check the terrain, see what kind of ridges I can go through. Sometimes 
if it's a really unfamiliar area, you know, I'll take some pictures on my phone of the terrain just so that when I'm hiking, I can keep an eye. But I, other than, you know, knowing where the ridges are, if there's a big swamp, you can just follow your way around the swamp or go north through a swamp. I do all sorts of different ways when I'm going. Maybe I don't want Monty sitting on this. He's squeaking. Well, I guess I am hungry enough to start cooking. And we've got a perfect cold bed. It is ripping hot. It, my hands are like from right here burning. If I, if I just hold them here like this, it's too hot. I have to put them down like this. Yeah, that's, that just right there is too hot. So, uh, okay, okay, Monty. I'm glad you like, oh, he's pretty warm. Even right here, Monty, it's hot. It's okay, he'll move if he's too hot. He's gonna, I give him like three minutes or if I get up to shut off the camera, he walks away. All right, let's prepare some food. Okay, let's do it. Okay, Mr. Monty. What do you think? Prepare some food, eh? Okay, where are we at? Oh, 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 are we down here? Oh, that's gonna have to do. You're just gonna not see my face. Can you see this? That's all that matters, right there. Oh, we gotta change batteries. Hold up there, Monty. All right, there's not a whole lot to prepare for this one. Oh, somehow we've spilled Monty's water that he won't drink anyways. Oh, well. But like I was saying, there's not a lot to prepare for this one. Just a couple things. All right, Monty. Need a chunk of butter. Always a chunk of butter. I'm not gonna put that there. We'll just stick that up there for now. We'll probably need more butter later. And then we're gonna chop up some fresh parsley and then put it back in here until until a little later. I'm not gonna chop it up too fine. We'll leave it nice and, you know, voluptuous. I don't know if that's the right word, but it's a word we're using and we're sticking to it. Put that back in there later. And then the only other thing we really gotta prepare other than our fish is some garlic. Nice couple cloves of garlic. For those of you that have that don't you know that don't know a lot of you probably will but uh, my subscribers have taught me that if you just crush the garlic here just a little bit with the side of your knife and give it a little smush it makes it so much easier to peel off the outside see that skin look at that it just comes right off easy easy I hear you guys when you give me little tips that I like and I'm for cooking and stuff. I take those tips. Oh yeah. I'm not afraid to better myself with knowledge. You know, some things I stick to my own, my guns, you know, but let me get this clove of garlic chopped up here. We're not gonna go too fine on the garlic. All right, that's, that's good enough. I, I, don't, I don't mind big pieces of garlic. Okay. And then the last thing we've gotta prepare is the fish. Now, I'm a little nervous as far as, you know, this is a, a coho salmon. It's not a big, thick piece of salmon. It's a nice little, it's a nice little fillets here. I mean, look at that. Look at those beautiful orange fillets. Ooh, that's gonna be good. It's very soft too. So, 
Hmm, I'm very nervous. I don't want to fry it up, so we're just going to put a few little scores in it. Just to help cook it down. And then we got to give Monty a portion. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this on the gray grate just like this. And I'm going to scrape coals underneath and do it nice and light. Now Monty here, we're going to give him some nice chunks. Monty's going to get a nice portion of fish here. He's not going to get quite as big as a portion as me. But... Still... Nice, nice bit of fish. All right, that's plenty for, for old Monty there. We've also got him pumpkins, so he's going to be just fine. We'll do another another little score through here. Okay, we're going to cook it just like that. We'll just scrape coals. We'll move this around. That's how we're going to cook our fish. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a little something to sprinkle on here, but I was hoping... Let's see if there's going to be... Oh, we can make it work. I can still cook my meal on there. Okay. All right, let me go get... Let me go get the goods. Let me go get the goods. Oh, we got the Montreal. The all spice. The great spice for a great great. Makes everything taste just that much better. Except for Monty. We tested that theory out last week. Does not make Monty taste better. Ooh, that looks good. That looks good already. Oh. Oh. oh, there is one other thing we've got to prepare. Okay, I've got a, I've got a lemon here. I'm just going to cut that in half once I clean off my knife, and that'll be for use later. But let's get to cooking. It's time. It's just time. Look at those beautiful fillets. Oh yeah. Look at that beautiful Monty. Oh yeah. Do you think Monty would taste good? Like. Uh, hind quarter of Monty or back straps. Monty, think your back straps would taste good? A little Montreal in there? Okay, let's stop thinking about that. Let's let's focus on the fish. The fish. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. Bad. There's one thing that's true about this dish. It does not take long to cook. So I'm gonna get uh, the snow is pretty packy, so it might this will uh, probably fill up more than I think, but we gotta get some water going. At least warmed up so we can boil some noodles. Alright. Where's my, my little stick? This guy can go over here. Okay. We are going to get our fish slowly going. This is going to need to move a lot. I don't want to burn it too fast. We're gonna, <laughs> it's icy. <laughs> All right, get this. We're gonna cook it real slow, real safe. We'll start up here, but we might need to move it down. And I'm just gonna keep bringing coals underneath this fish. I don't wanna, I don't wanna burn anything. Get Monty's going there. Okay, let this begin. Like I said, this one cooks up pretty quick. You just kind of throw in everything and slowly add in things minute by minute. And you're eating pretty quick. Got the butter in there. Let that melt down. Might need to go a little bit closer here. Yeah, we're gonna have to definitely have to turn this around. Time to time to cook that fish. <sighs> Ooh, hot! Okay. Add in that sliced up garlic. Got a little bit of parsley in there too, but that's okay. And then one other thing. And I've got some lemon zest. 
I zested that lemon that I brought out with me. So it's just one one lemon's worth of lemon zesting. I love citrusy, lemony. Oh yeah. Oh, this fire is so hot. Okay, this has got to move out a little bit. Oh, this thing is so hot. Oh, that's what you get when you cook up hardwoods or burn hardwoods. Oh man, it's just ripping right now. Whoo! Oh, it burns! It burns my hand! I can't even be close to it! Ah. Alright. Monty has caught wind of the fish and he is now standing. He is standing at attention, but our garlic and lemons has cooked for a good minute or so-ish. Now we're going to add in some flour. What we are creating right now is a roux. Cook this down for a minute. Oh, oh, it's hot. Oh, it's so hot. This fire is so hot. It's ridiculous. This is hard. It's like super hot right here. Oh yeah. Okay. We're just gonna I'm just gonna like come at it from this angle. Oh, it's so hot. And we also need to turn this grate around. Okay. Yeah, we need to turn the grate around for a sec here. Get the fish cooking from the other side. Let's see. I'm gonna burn my hands. <sighs> Gotta be careful. Okay, this is going back on here. Scrape the coals over to the proper side. I might have to also cook this just straight on the coals. We'll see. Okay, we've got to go to the next step, but... Look at this creature over here. <laughs> You're busted, mister. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, Monty, you're so funny. All right, we've got some milk I'm gonna add in. I put it in this uh, this little, uh, these shakers for working out. They snap and they, they stay pretty good if you need to bring out a liquid. That's what I always use. Got this milk on, I'm gonna bring this up to a little bit of a simmer here. It's hard cooking this fish right next to this. I need to drag some more coals under here. Get this better heated up. There we go. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's making our fish a little cooking a little too hot. So I'm gonna need. You know what I'm gonna need to do is we're gonna have to move this over here right now. And this right here is gonna have to go right under the coals. That's just how it's gonna have to be. Because this fish and that are gonna cook at very different temperatures and times. Okay. Keep it going. We're actually gonna have to move the fish a little bit. Ooh, the salmon is looking perfect. It's still slightly pink and raw on the top left, as you can see, and the other chunk is too, but it's cooking nice and slow, not trying to burn it at all. Someone's moved closer to the fish. <laughs> Okay. 
Now we're gonna go adding in some cream cheese. Drop that right in there. Mm -mm -mm. Let's get creamy. Let's get creamy. Oh, and what else? Oh, what else for a fettuccine Alfredo? That's right, some grated Parmesan. Oh, it's so hot. I got uh, a bunch of it. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, that pepper is so hot. Oh, yeah. This is where it starts to get that cheesy, delicious goodness. We need to get our... I got the water. I moved the water, but that's got to start boiling soon. But, oh, yeah, look at that. We got to melt this in. <gasps> It's so hot, I can't even explain. Oh, yeah. Ooh. It's getting good. We're getting there. We are getting there. We gotta scrape some more coals for our fish. some salt to this not too much salt not too little salt just the right amount of salt you don't want to over salt and you don't want to under salt you know just a little bit more okay that seems good that's good right there oh yeah perfect and then we're gonna add in some black pepper a little bit of black pepper oh, I like pepper we'll do a little extra pepper there we go oh it's starting to come along now Ooh, see it's starting to bubble a little bit. We don't want it to bubble. We don't want it to simmer. We want it to just melt in there all nice. So I'm gonna move this off the heat just a hair. Oh, it's starting to look so creamy. Oh. Ooh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Monty, <laughs> Monty's creeping in. The Monty's creeping. You know it's serious when he starts creeping in. It's getting serious, Monty. It's getting serious. Oh, this is bubbling. Oh, the cheese is almost all melted. Oh, we've almost got that beautiful, cheesy. Once all that cream cheese melts, just bubbling a little. It's a bubble a little bit. I gotta be careful. Oh, it's so. This fire is so hot. I know I've said it a hundred times. Ooh, our salmon. Let's, uh, Gently get our salmon over a little bit more heat on this end. It's not fully cooked right here or right here. And I, I don't mind if the skin's a little burnt on the other side, underside. That's okay because we're going to scrape it off the skin. It's going to be so good. Let's check our noodles. Okay. They're not boiling, but the snow is all melted. What I'm going to do start cooking my noodles because I've got fresh noodles and it doesn't need to really be boiling to cook these fresh noodles oh, we're, getting there. we're getting there Monty don't you worry this is Monty's right here this is gonna be just fine he can eat it raw but we'll cook it up for him he likes a nice hot meal we're gonna salt our water a little bit How do you open this? Is there like a little... Help me out, Monty. Is there a little, uh... You know what? I know how to open this. What am I doing? Yeah, Monty, you just jab a knife into the plastic. That's, oop, that's a lighter covered in duct tape. That's not what we want. Yeah. That's how you open it. Ain't no fiddling around over here. Okay, get these fettuccine noodles cooking. That's a lot of them, they're pretty long. <laughs> it's 
gonna be a it's gonna be a challenge getting those all in there. There we go. Okay. Let those start cooking. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. Get that boiling over that. Ooh. It's getting serious. Now we're gonna add in a bunch of that fresh parsley. Oh yeah, I'll stir that right in. Oh yeah. Oh. This is gonna be so good. Monty, you're gonna be happy too, don't you worry. We're taking care of you today too. Oh my gosh. The lemon zest, it just adds so much. Okay. Okay, next step. Is this thing still recording? Okay, we're still good. We got a couple chunks of bread. I was gonna, you know, roast up some garlic, but I'm thinking that if I just toast up the bread for a minute here, it's gonna be just as good. I'm not going to go too crazy. Oh. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. It's getting it's getting very close. It's getting very close. Okay. Let's see where it with these noodles. Oh. They're boiling. Got to make sure they don't burn to the bottom. Got to be careful. We gotta taste one of these noodles here. Taste test. Is it al dente? If I can get one. A little bit longer to go. Okay, this. This right here, ooh, this is getting a little, a little crispy on the bottom. This is done. Our Alfredo is done. I just gotta keep it warm now. We gotta keep it warm. We got can't burn it. So we'll push these off. We'll keep it next to the fire. Our fish, you know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit underdone on these tips, but that's not gonna matter. What we'll do. Scrape some really hot coals underneath it. We'll just roast it really hot right here at the end. And as you can see, my bread that I've almost dropped into the fire, I've moved it over a hotter spot. I mean, I'm like, I'm 90% sure that you could eat this salmon raw, this little coho salmon fresh cut out of Lake Superior, and you would be just fine. But I like to have it cooked, you know? Monty's, oh, Monty's is done. All right, Monty's is done. This is done. Our noodles are almost done. I'm just gonna keep this warm. Just keep it warmed up. Let me just, mm. <laughs> Oh, Monty. It's so good. I just see the bread. Oh, it's a little burnt. A little burnt. I don't know. We don't want burnt bread. Move it back a little bit. Okay. Where are we with the noodles? This is one of those meals. I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can't lollygag with this one. I have, in between, just turn it on and off the camera. I haven't done anything but focus on cooking. You gotta just cook this one because the sauce cooks up fast. Salmon, thin like that, cooks up fast. Fresh noodles cook up fast. This is, these are probably done. These seem done. There's not much water left. 
Okay. Done and done. Oh, bread's over flame. That's done. Okay. Okay. It is time. It is time. <laughs> okay. Let's prepare the feast. scoop the noodles into here give me a little bit of water just in case whoops I was looking at the fish there Ooh. okay So you always, when you're making this, you want to reserve a little of uh, the cooking water that you boiled your noodles in, it was, and it was salted, because this gets really thick. So you need to add a little bit more of that water. Like it's perfect right now, but if it cools just a little bit, it's going to thicken up. So we're gonna add just a little bit of this water. Just a little bit. Mix it back in there. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so good. Okay, okay. Couple more steps, couple more steps. Let's sprinkle on some fresh grated Parmesan that isn't melted yet. Okay, okay. few pieces of parsley that is not mixed in. Okay. Ooh. Let's get this over here. We're going to scrape this fire roasted. We're going to scrape it off the skin. Got to be careful. Oh yeah. Man, this is going to be so good. <laughs> oh, but we're not done yet. We are not done. Okay, we're just going to burn that off right there. We've got one final step to the whole thing. And that is a fresh squirt of lemon over that fish. Okay, <laughs> that looks so good. Okay, that, that's good. That's good right there. Oh man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. That, ladies and gentlemen, is some Lake Superior Coho Salmon Fettuccine Alfredo. And I am about to devour it. <laughs> oh, alright. Let's eat. Our, our Monty has been so patient. He's been so patient. Sitting over there waiting. We've got to get his ready too. He's going to get a nice, nice dollop of pumpkin. I don't want to use all this in case I, in case I want to force feed him breakfast, you know? You force feed him breakfast, you got some pumpkin, he gonna eat it. So we save a little bit of this. A little bit of this. Okay, and then we've got some, where is it? Dog food. The protein. Okay. Okay. We'll mix that in. All right, everybody's happy. Everybody's got gourmet food, pumpkin, salmon, dog foody, goopy mess. He's gonna inhale this. Okay, let us eat, boy. Let us eat. Okay, get 
that there. We're gonna have to burn this skin. It's okay, the great great can handle it. The great is the great. Okay. I'm so excited right now. I do have two beers with me. I finished one in the cooking process. You know, you gotta cook with wine. When you're outdoors, you gotta cook with beer. So, killed off the first one. Gonna crack a fresh one, Monty. Take a nice sip. That is so heavy. You know, whenever I cook out here, Funk always tells me to bring her home some leftovers. And this feels like one of those meals that there's gonna be some leftovers. When I told her what I was making, she's like, you better bring me home some. So, we'll see, we'll see. I'm just gonna stir this fish in. We're gonna get it all in there. Everything is going to be mixed all. Oh, it's just a perfect consistency right now. Monty, are you excited? Look at him. He you want a treat? You want a treat? Look at that head tilt. That's hard. Head treat? Do you want to go to the dog park? Do you want to do a treat? Alright, go ahead, Monty. Go ahead. You've been a good boy all day. Oh, crack the neck. Get a nice first bite. <laughs> mm. Today is a great day to be outdoors. I tell you what. I think this is the best Alfredo I've ever made. Oh! We're warping our great great. That's red hot. That's how the other one got destroyed so fast. But man. The only thing I could have done better is to uh, pan fry up some garlic and kind of roast it with some butter. Put it over this bread. It's the only thing. But it doesn't matter. It's still slightly crispy bread. The salmon. It's so good because it's got that Montreal in there and lemon. And when you get a bite of it, it's extra flavorful. What? Oh, come on.
Monty eats about two to two and a half cups of food a day, uh, two meals, once in the morning, once at night. And right there, well actually before we left, we gave him, I gave him, when I do these trips like this where he's like winter camping or whatever out in the snow and it's cold, I usually give him a cup of food or a cup and half of food with pumpkin so he's got a big meal. He digests it on the drive out. We hike and whatnot and then I give him another big portion which I just did more than a cup with pumpkin with fish excuse me <laughs> um and it's just not good enough he cleaned it out I swear he'll eat until he pukes <sighs> mm. I changed the angle because the smoke is just blowing that way. Change, change the angle of the camera. There's a lot more here than I can eat. Whew. Mm-hmm. You think you're getting more, huh? 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 You're not. You don't have to worry. You're not going to get any more. Just don't even worry about it. Hmm? Hmm? You know what I could give you? Do you want a... Do you want a head scratch? Do you want an ear scratch? Yeah, you want one of these? No, I want whatever's in that pot. I haven't had enough, okay? I put up with your crap all day. You know, follow you around, listen to you talk to yourself for hours, and I expect more food. That's what, okay? Okay? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Okay there, pal. Okay. Oh. We're warping the new great great real bad. Oh, oh no. Well, oops. That still forms good. That'll happen, you know. You get a great great, six bucks, you get a warp. Hooey. Normally I make the same batch for me and Funk, so this is a. This, did you burp? It's okay. Me too. I burp too. I forgive you. Normally, this is definitely impossible for two. I'm slowing down. I am sure slowing down. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen. What a day. What a good day. It was a beautiful day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut off that light, shut off that camera, finish up eating as much of this as I can, and I'm going to sit here for a good 45 minutes, maybe more, maybe a little bit less. But I really want to look at the stars, and it's really hard to do with that light on, so I'm going to shut that off and relax for a good, good bit of time here. And eventually... As this burns down, I'm going to get ready for bed, so I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. Hey, Monty. Okay. Monty, 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 Monty. Okay. So I'm going to lay this, this thing underneath my sleeping pad here because, uh, you know, mine's brand new. For the first time in all the times I've been winter camping, I'm going to have and use an actual winter camping sleeping pad. Now normally, normally I just use, uh, you know, those, those normal sleeping pads. Which are definitely not for winter camping. But, it's done me fine so far. It's done me justice. Oh, 
Watch out, my feet. Watch out. Oh, watch out. But uh, this one right here, you can see it's it's gray. Different, different colors. Gray means warm, I guess. Monty, come over here. Watch out. Monty, come over here. This is yours, Monty. Like I said, this one's rated for winter camping. It's the uh, Neo Air X-Therm. I'm gonna try it out for the first time. I laid on it in my living room for a little bit, and it was definitely warm. It's uh, it's got uh, an R value that's pretty high. It's made for winter camping. They make it in like a mummy shape, but I like square. I do like square. So. Oh man, I'm full. Yeah, you go ahead. Make yourself at home there, Monty. Oh yeah, yeah, you just... See, Monty's just, he's here to christen, you know? He's here to put little muddy paw prints on your brand new stuff. That's okay. I don't mind. I'm going to put Monty's uh, wool blanket down in the bottom tonight because there's a 100% chance that both of us are going to be too warm. Like I said, when I come out, I... Uh, pack just like if it's zero degrees or if it's 40 degrees it doesn't matter so I've got my warm bag I am very certain that I will be sleeping with my bag open <laughs> no layers on probably my underwear just open because it's a warm bag very warm Monty, Monty might not even want to be in a sleeping bag period you might just want to lay with it open we'll see but it's definitely warm. You can tell by the layers I'm wearing, it's still 30 degrees or warmer. So I might not even zip Monty up right away. It's pretty warm out. You can tell he's ready for bed. <laughs> he's just laying here. Yeah, you're a good boy. He knows the drill. Monty, have you done this before? Well, do you know that you need this thing still? Yeah, do you know? Do you know what this is? This is your little cocoon of happiness and warmth. Come on, up here. Over here. Come on. Come here. It's okay. Good boy. Yep. No, 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 no. Monty, Monty, come over here. Over here. No, it's okay. It's okay. Just, just, just. no, 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 no. Monty, no. You gotta come off the sleeping pad for just one minute. Alright. Stay there. Stay there. Hold on. Hold on, I know, I know it's blasphemy. It's blasphemy. Hold on, Monty, stay there. Okay. Monty, come here. Here, Monty. Come here, you tired big puppy. You big stinky. Oh, don't do that. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know you like to dig. Just, just lay down. How about we just lay down? Come on, lay down. Don't dig it out. Don't do it. Don't dig it out. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to scoot you like this. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, just, 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 oh, oh, don't catch your legs, oh, 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 get that big booty, scoot that over, oh, okay, oh, oh, okay, oh, we got all your arms, this one tangled, oh, there you go, that's a good boy, that's a good boy, oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good boy. Okay. I'm only gonna zip him up halfway. He definitely seems like he's in zip up mode. You know, you get your Monty in the zip up mode. You can't deny him the coziness of a sleeping bag. 
just that far. Wait, wait. A little bit more. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just don't want to zip them up too much. It's definitely a warm night tonight. And I don't want them uncomfortable. So we got to have his, just like that. Just so his head's getting some air. The rest of him is good. Now the, like I said, this is going to be dripping. My feet are going to get a little, little drips on them. Nothing crazy, but. <laughs> hey, that's a good boy. Oh, that's a good boy. Eyes are closed. Our Monty's tucked in. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I am still just wearing this layer of thermals. So, it cannot be very cold out. Um, Monty's water did get ice on the top, so it has to be below freezing. It has to be. So, it's it's not much. It's, it's maybe 30 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, which is... What would that be Celsius? Negative 0.1, I guess. I don't know. It's so close, it's hard to tell. But uh, yeah, brush my teeth. Got all my stuff packed up for the most part. And I am ready to just crawl in the sleeping bag and try to go to sleep. It's going to be a little bit of trouble because this bag is rated for negative 40. Um, it's an extreme cold bag. And it's, you know, 30 degrees out. So that's. 70, 70 degree difference. So I'm just going to kind of lay with my layers on and have my bag open and we'll see. I should be I should be fine. But uh, definitely going to be keeping an eye on Monty. Uh, I don't want him to get uncomfortable and uh, roll around and get out. So I'm always a light sleeper out here. Anytime he rolls around and moves I'm always checking on him. I never sleep too hard. I'm a, I'm a light sleeper in general anyways, but especially when I'm out here and I've got to take care of him. If he gets up, uh, I like to make sure he wants, if he needs water, if he needs a shift to the other side, that's, that's generally what he does is shift to the other side. Anyways, I'm rambling on, I'm full, I had a very satisfying day, so I'm going to pass out now. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night everybody. Should I just sleep like this? I don't think I've ever seen Monty sleep so hard in his whole life. <laughs> oh, we, he heard his name. Monty? He's snoring. <laughs> Look at that tongue sticking out. <laughs> it's his tongue. <laughs> Monty, keep your tongue in your mouth when you're asleep. What are you doing? Your tongue yeah, he's sleeping hard, man. He hasn't moved all night. It's a good boy. See, I'm even petting him. I've opened and closed the sleeping bag. Air him out because I was worried he's getting too warm. <laughs> he's just sleeping. He doesn't even care. No worries in the world. But that tongue. Can't get over the tongue sticking out. Look at it. Good morning! Oh. Oh. Good 
morning, Monty. Good morning. Oh, hi. 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 Oh, oh you stinky morning, but oh. Morning, Monty. Hi. Hi. Are you running? Are you running? Oh, that's a butt boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 don't do it. Don't lick my face. Oh, good morning, Monty. Monty slept so hard last night. <laughs> good boy, Monty. Oh, look at you. Look at you. It's a new day. It's a new day, Monty. Oh. Yeah. Monty slept. You have to deal with me upside down for a minute here. Monty slept so hard. It was crazy. <laughs> he did not move at all. I was getting concerned. Oh. Um, at one point, Monty does this thing where he sleeps so hard you can't even tell he's breathing. And I always get concerned. So I was like, calling his name and like moving him and all I could see was all he was moving was his little beady eye and it was just like barely moving and I was like Monty is like are you in a coma or something you okay and it's like I started just like shaking him and then he like jumps up I was like okay he's fine but yeah he he didn't want to switch positions but I kind of made him get up and turn around just to switch sides because he, he was sleeping he was snoring Tongue sticking out. Uh, he slept pretty good. I slept pretty good. You know, other than this thing keeps getting into my side. This is my pack of batteries. Like two pounds worth. <laughs> keeps <coughs> getting in my sides. But anyways, it is clear blue skies. And sunny out there. It's looking beautiful. Uh, we heard a swan this morning, kind of trumpeting, going across some other weird animal. But still, it's not windy at all. It's not even cold. Last night, it got down to, <sighs> um, it got down to 23. It was the coldest point of the night. I had my watch hitting over here, checking on it. What do we got here? Ooh. Stinky frozen socks. <laughs> Monty, come here. Monty, I want to hit you with a stinky sock. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where is he? Ah, he's somewhere. All right, we don't get to hit him with a stinky sock. Yeah, I'm hiking in without the overalls over my boots. Little bits of snow got inside my boot and made my feet just a little damp. So I put on some dry socks. Right here. Right here, Monty. Where is he? Oh, there he is. He's creeping around for food scraps. Anyways, guys. I'm kind of rambling, so I'm not going to put on too many layers. Maybe I'll put on a jacket. It's kind of warm. But anyways, I'm going to get up. Let's do it. Still, Monty. Yeah. Monty. Hey, Monty. Hey, Monty. Hey, Monty. You sound like. You want a stick? You want me to throw the stick? It's so still out there. Ooh. 
Careful, Monty. It's like a minefield for potholes. Yeah, it got a little colder last night than I thought it would. I mean, I was it was still super warm, but uh, definitely colder than I thought it was going to be. I didn't think it was going to get much below freezing, but yeah, they got down to 23, which is still a pretty warm night. I didn't put Monty's wool blanket over it at all throughout the night. I had. Just my layers on and I kept having my top open and I kept letting my heat out. But it is so calm this morning. This is crazy. It's just, I'm echoing. Ah! You hear sound for miles. Hi, oh, Monty. Bring here. Bring me here. Bring me the stick. Bring me the stick. Bring me the day. Good boy. Ah, oh! Did you see that? He just swung it at me. You dirty dog. He just tried to hit me with this. He tried to hit me in the face. Yeah, you. 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 No. Don't do that. Oh. Bad throw. Yeah, it's, it's frozen now. Anywhere I walked yesterday, it's packed down. So, we're not going to dilly dally too much today. We got funk a nice portion of Alfredo. I wouldn't mind eating it, but you know, we'll save for that salmon Alfredo. Ooh. It always sounds better when you give it the full name, you know? You know, like I, right now I'm calling it salmon Alfredo, but if I say Fire roasted Lake Superior Coho Salmon Fettuccine Alfredo. It's just like, mmm. Ooh, that sounds good. Salmon Alfredo, eh. Fire roasted fresh Lake Superior Coho Salmon Fettuccine Alfredo. Yeah, that sounds real nice. Same dish. Perspective. Monty, <clears throat> bring me that stick. I think he's gonna go poop. I think he's out there pooping. I can't see him. He's gonna hide the trees or something. He's probably pooping. He's probably out there pooping. But yeah, like I said, not too, we're not going billy dally too much. We got a two and a half hour at least hike. It'll probably be a little bit slower going today because I don't. I'll probably take my time a little bit more on the hike, and I wanted to get here, so I was I had to drive to. <coughs> push hard but uh, at least today we won't be sinking pretty much at all if we get going the next couple hours or if we get next couple hours <laughs> what am I going to throw the stick for Monty for hours here? No we're going to get packed up and get going with him in the hour but yeah it's all frozen so it'll be just a pathway so bring me that stick Monty did you poop? Did you poop? Come on, bring it here. A lot of people have been asking lately in the comments if I poop. And, uh, you know, I know I record a lot of stuff, but I'm not going to record myself pooping. Of course I poop out in the woods. They ask me how I do it, and it's just you squat and you poo. There's nothing to it, really. I've got the stick, the Monty Monty stick. He likes the way that feels in his mouth, and he likes to eat sticks. Monty Monty D, Monty Tumpty Da. La ba da ba ba da ba da ba. Do you want the stick or not? I do. Where is it, Monty? Where's the stick, Monty? 
Where's the stick, Monty? Where is it? Get it, Monty. Oh, you want this stick? Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, it didn't, it stuck to my hand. I'll try again. Get it. Where is it, Monty? Get that stick. <laughs> okay, all right, I'll, for real this time. Ready, you ready? You ready? All right, get it. Where's the stick? <laughs> okay, all right, for real, for real, for really real. real. Can only mess with them so much. Anyways, as I was saying, we're gonna get packed up here. Let us, let us get packed up. Oh, okay. Dual attack. He's eating fish scraps. I'm sorry, Monty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're having too much fun this morning. Too much fun. Cause baby, there ain't no Monty High enough. Ain't no Monty low enough. Ain't no Monty wide enough to keep me from getting to Monty. I'm a Monty, Monty T. Oh, hey. So, this water didn't freeze. So that tells me that it wasn't below freezing inside the shelter. Hmm. Because when I set my watch, it was on the outside. That's interesting. Interesting, Monty. Still echoing. Fluffy bunny, hi. That's a good boy. That's a good boy, yeah. Oh, isn't that just the best boy? Isn't that just the best boy? You got some goopies in your eye. Monty, you want an eye rub? You want an eye rub? Yeah. You want a little nose rub? A little nose rub? <laughs> oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Next scratch. Next scratch. Oh, good boy. Let's see. What do you think, Monty? T shirt? It's sunny. We're gonna need the shades out. I don't know. We'll go with. We'll go with, uh. 
t-shirt and one layer of thermals for now. And when we get way too sweaty halfway through the hike, we will take off the thermal layer and do what we were doing yesterday. That's what we're gonna do, Monty. That's the plan. That is the plan. Okay, you guys don't need to see the rest here. I'm gonna get down to my undies. Hey, right, Monty. Okay, let's shut off the camera. Attachment and we're ready to rock and roll. Hey, Monty, come here, Monty, come here. Hi, yeah, did you have a fun night? Did you have fun? You got a your butt seems clean, seems like you had a clean poop. You had a clean poop. Well, 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 that's gonna do it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I had a delicious meal yesterday and a nice hike on a beautiful day. Had some fun out here. Nice, nice, very nice overnighter. I had some fun, but we've got a definitely two, three hour hike to get back to the car. So we're gonna get to it. So as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button, and I will catch you guys at the next video. Come on, team. Pull the paddle along. Oh. Oh. Uh, for those of you that remember this, I was talking about the snowshoe strap. Oh, Monty, what you doing? Being uh, kind of jangy, but it finally broke. Um, <laughs> and since I have it all the way to the end, I don't have much room. My boots, they're pretty big. They don't fit unless I have it, you know, all the way to the end. So I can't really tie it off. Uh, so we're just going to hope that the road or the trail is packed enough. It seems pretty good this morning, so I'm gonna have to take my snowshoes off. But I guess that's kind of the end of the old snowshoes. Um, I'm sure they could be repaired. I'll figure something out later, but those of you that know, I already hate these snowshoes. They, they have fallen off this trip. The straps have come undone. My boots have slipped out maybe 30 times on the hike in and already five or six times right now. So, anywho, Let's just hope that it's packed enough so I don't, I'm not post-hauling the whole way home. I got a ways to go. Oh well.